Well, you brought a few tools that I, I want my. I brought. Thought it would be a good time to talk about them, just because, you know, w when you were there, living out in the country and, and hunting and everything, were some of these things used then? Well, oh, actually, uh, not really. These are, <coughs> but but a lot of our modern items. For instance, uh, this item here. Um, you know, it's just a beautiful uh, a harpoon head. But uh, oftentimes, uh, in modern times, uh, uh, our men would uh, make a, a similar one out of steel. But it's based on Pattern an ancient, ancient design. design. Yeah, I is mean, it, would this be ivory? Or? Uh, this is bone. Bone. Uh -huh. um, but, uh, you know, it would be attached to the end of a, a shaft. It would come off when you, when you hit the seal, and you'd have it come sideways. You know, and you'd have a, a, a rope, a, a skin rope, and that would be what would uh, bring it in, see. <coughs> so I, I, I bring these because um, there was not too many generations before our time that these were they being used. They were actually used. being used, yeah. right. And uh, <coughs> we didn't have m many materi uh, hard materials. Uh, the hardest material, of course, was in our world was jade, yeah. which was quite rare. And how they ever brought it to a point where it would cut and thin, I don't know what tools they used to, 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 to do that. But uh, in fact, uh, Shungnak, uh, one of the villages in our region, it, its real name is Isinyak, which is jade. Oh, I've it, I never yeah. heard that. And of course, uh, this is slate. They made slate knives in Nulu's that didn't have much of a, uh, uh, a edge to them, but they were uh, usable. And here's another one. This looks like it even has blood on it, <laughs> you know. It's a handy <laughs> and, tool. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, your grandfather would have yeah. used these. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, they were getting steel by then, probably, mm -hmm. <coughs> in trade from the Russians. And, mm -hmm. and this is a, this is just something that, in fact, I used to, I was learning to make nets when I was a kid, but this is just a mesh for uh, making a. A knotting. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, for making a, making a net, uh, net. A fishing net. Yeah. yeah. And this one is, is ivory, but I think it was used to protect your wrist uh, when you're shooting your bow, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, mm -hmm. the, so, so threads, these holes, threads would go around and, and attach yeah. it to your wrist. Yeah, and of course, if you didn't have these uh, in those old days, uh, these goggles, uh, you'd go snow blind in the, uh, because it, the, there's so much ultraviolet light in, in the springtime that you had to have something like this to keep them going And then you probably blind. still had to squint underneath those. No, I think they work quite good. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, those are, those are really fascinating.